Right, well, it's time for Blues Brothers 2000, and this is one that I've not been looking forward to. I've only ever seen Blues Brothers one once. Uh, it was all right. I realise it, it's a classic and people love it, but I'm not very musical. I've got a tin ear for music in the first place. Certainly not what you'd call a fan of blues music either. Uh, Dan Aykroyd and John Belushi, they're funny, but you can't help but think, you know, this is based on a Saturday Night Live sketch. It's kind of like the American equivalent of Fred and Perry Go Large. Um, I don't know if I, I... I've watched this again, I've watched this before. I don't, don't really remember it, uh, which is never really a good sign. Nothing stayed with me. Um, Dan Aykroyd's in it. Uh, he's always good for a laugh. John Goodman, um, you know... He's, he's all right. Um, you know, so there's, there's some good talent in this, and I'm sure, at the very least, it will be watchable, if not. It's not going to be good. I, I, I can tell you that now. I'm, I, I'm not going to like this one. February 6th from Universal Pictures, the blues are back. I'm getting the band back together. The last time they played anywhere, they were charged with grand larceny, felonious motor vehicle assault, and damages in excess of $20 million. And you are asking me if I want to join this band? I could show you all the moves. This film manages to rob Dan Aykroyd of all his natural charisma. Should rename as the Blues Brothers Band. Boring you guys Brothers. Just dreadful. Oh God! Thank God that's over.